Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about sorting in Tableau. So first I'm going to walk you through how sorting in Tableau works by default and what the limitations can be. And secondly, I am going to show you how we can create a parameter and use it in the view so that we can sort our view exactly the way we want. So let's take as example this table where we have state, customer name, postal code and sales. And we try to use our default setting uh, for sorting. So we see that we can sort state uh, from Z to A and from A to Z. But when we try to do that with any field that is to the right of state, of state uh, we see that all we can do is just to order, for instance, customer name or to order postal code within states. So one thing we can do is if we know that there is one field that we want to order this table by, then we can just drag that field all the way to the left of our table. However, there might be some cases where we want to allow the user to really sort the table by any field of their choice. For that case, I believe using a parameter is the best course of action. So here's how you do it. If you're familiar with parameters, this is nothing new to you. You're just going to go ahead and create a parameter, give it a name. We're going to choose sort by, choose a data type, make it a string and allow values in a list. And in that list, you're going to add all the fields that you want the user to be able to order your table by. So if you have 10 columns, you're going to add 10 columns unless you just want the user to be able to order the table by three of them. Then you will add just those three. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and add state, customer name, postal code and sales. Just an extra tip here. Whenever you create a parameter, make sure to click on enter after the last value you've added to a list. Otherwise, you will end up doing like I did in this case. I wrote sales, but then I didn't click on enter and you will see later that actually sales was not saved. So up next, we need to create a calculated field based on the parameter. So we can just right click on the parameter, click on create calculated field. We're going to name it sort by calculation and then go ahead and write an if then statement that goes something like if the parameter equals one of the values inserted, then give me the respective field. So if sort by equals state, then state else if sort by equals customer name, then give me customer name and so on and so forth. So here is the completed calculation and I would like to drag your attention towards the fact that I have added str before sales and that will convert sales, which is a numerical field into a string. We need to do that because we need all of the fields to be a string. Otherwise, Tableau will return an error. However, what I didn't realize is that postal code was also a numerical field. I didn't realize that because it's coded as a geographical field. So I saw this error and I had to go in again and add str before postal code as well. And then finally, my calculation was correct. All right, now for the last part, what we need to do is to use our sort by calculation in the view. Otherwise, the parameter will not have any effect on our view. So we are going to drag sort by calculation all the way to the left. Remember that the first column is what your table or your graph will be sorted by. So we drag sort by calculation all the way to the left and we are going to display the parameter to allow the user to choose by which column to order the table. If you like, you can choose to display the parameter as a single value list. So all the possible columns are already visible to the user, or you can just leave it as default, which is a drop down. Um, if you have a lot of values, you might want to choose a drop down so it doesn't take up too much space, but it's up to you. So now let's test our parameter and we see that when we change from state to customer name, now the customer names are indeed ordered alphabetically. And so is the same case for the postal code. And this is the moment, as I mentioned before, where I realized that I hadn't indeed 
uh, click on clicked on enter after adding sales and I went in and and uh, fixed that and now we have four values for our sort by parameter and last but not least of the steps is to go ahead and hide the header for the sort by calculation we need it there but we don't need to see it and especially our end user doesn't need to see it and now we have the same table as at the beginning but we have the added ability to show the table ordered by what we want so i hope you enjoyed this video uh, i will link in the description also the tableau source i used for this and thank you and see you next month